Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel Doll Design. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute dress with an extended sleeve. It's a very, very beautiful dress. I use African print. You can use any print of your choice to make this dress as long as it's a cotton fabric. I know that I have not been uploading for quite some time. I am very busy, so I take a break from YouTube to do other things. But now I am back and I'm going to show you how to make this dress and it's a free pattern paper that you can download and print it out and make a cute dress like this for your kids or loved ones. So when I say free pattern paper, that means there is no measurement on how to make the top dress. You are just going to download the pattern paper on PDF and then you can go ahead and make it for your kids so i'm going to upload two years pattern paper four years pattern paper and six years pattern paper so that those who have kids for six years can be able to also make this dress for their kids or loved ones remember to support us by subscribing turn on your notification bell button and select all options if my tutorial is helpful thumbs up make a comment down below if you have any question if you're just stopping by, thank you so much for watching. Before you exit that video, remember to subscribe. The new subscriber, the old subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And let's get started. So this is my fabric. I'm using African wax fabric. You can use any fabric of your choice to make the dress. I'm going to pick my front pattern paper. I will pin it on fold. You can see that my fabric is on fold. You just go ahead and pin your front pattern paper on fold once you pin it on fold go ahead and start cutting it out before you cut it out remember to add seam allowance so i'm going to add seam allowance at the neckline this will be the shoulder and the sleeve the armhole and at the bottom edge you can add one centimeter seam allowance or half an inch seam allowance, depend on the seam allowance that you want to add on your fabric. I have had my seam allowance, I will go ahead and cut it out. The next thing that you have to do, pin your back pattern paper on your fabric. Make sure you're cutting two fabric. So what you're going to do, add seam allowance around the neckline, the shoulder, the sleeve, armhole, and the bottom edge. So what I'm going to do, I will just take my scissors and then go ahead and cut it out. And I will also cut my lining. I cut out the male fabric in the lining. And I also cut out the back male fabric and also the lining. And I've also cut out my skirt. If you watch my video, I have shown how you can cut out your skirt. All you have to do, take the total width of your front skirt. So the total width, when you're taking the total width of your front skirt, you just open it into two, and then you place your measuring tape. You take the total weight like this. The measurement that you get, times it by two, and then you cut out the width of your skirt. So the length of your skirt, that will determine the, how you want your dress to look on your child. So I will take the length of my skirt. The length of my skirt is 14 and half inches. So this is how I cut my fabric. Let's put the dress together. First thing that you have to do, you open your front top. This is the front of my top and this is the back. You pick your lining, this is the front, put the shoulder seam together, and you also pick the other side of the lining, this is the front, make sure both front fabric are facing each other, you just go ahead and pin the shoulder seam, once you have done that, go ahead and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance, or depend on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. And you also repeat the same process with your lining. Open your lining. This is the front. And you just go ahead and pull the bow shoulder seam together. Once you have pulled the bow shoulder seam together, go ahead and pin it in place. And once you have done that, stitch it with one centimeter seam 
allowance. I have stitched the shoulder seam of my top dress. I take it to my ironing board and I press the seam apart. And I also repeat the same process with my lining. So what you are going to do, you're going to put the both front fabric together. This is the front of my lining. This is the front of my made top. Place it on top of each other. So what you are going to do, you're going to pin around the neckline and you're going to pin around the sleeve area. So go ahead and pin it in place. I have pinned around the neckline and around the sleeve. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance and also stitch around the neckline with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric, go ahead and stitch it in place. If you add half an inch seam allowance on your fabric when cutting them out, go ahead and stitch it with half an inch seam allowance. I have top stitch around the neckline and around the sleeve and I take my scissors and snip around the curved edge and I also do the same thing with the sleeve. So what I'm going to do, I will go ahead and turn it inside out. Once I am done with that, I will take it to my ironing board and give it a good press. I have given it a good press. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do you pick your mate top. This is the mate top. This will be the back of the mate top and this is the front. So you just pick the both together. We are going to stitch this curve area together. Then you pick your lining. You can see the way I'm picking it now. And then you pick the other lining. This will be the back of the lining. So we are going to pull them together like this. Make fabric together, lining, together. Go ahead and pin them together. Make sure that both seams are matched. Once you have pinned them together, take it to your sewing machine. Go ahead and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance or half an inch seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. I have stitched it together. The next thing that you have to do, you just press the seam apart and fold it like this. This is how it will look once you have done that. So the next thing that you have to do, you just go ahead and stitch the center back together. So I want you to understand how I make this dress. That is why I'm stitching it step by step. Go ahead and put the center back together. This will be your button holes. Once you have done that, take it to your sewing machine, stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance or half an inch seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. So you just turn your, this is the lining, this is the made top, turn it together. Just turn it like this. Both front fabric are facing each other. You just go ahead and stitch the center back together. I have stitched the center back of my top dress. This is how it is. I take it to my ironing board. I just give it a good press. This is how it is right now. The next thing that you have to do, you take your skirt. This is my skirt. You fold it into two so that you have a crease in between the skirt. Once you have done that, the next thing that you have to do, you just open your skirt, place your measuring tape like this at the mid part, go ahead and measure down three inch of which I have done that. Once you measure down three inch, put a mark where the three inch end and then take your scissors, cut it down to that three inch. Inch. So I have done that already. Once you have done that, then you take your strap. I cut 
8 inch by one and a half inch, 8 inch by length, one and a half inch width. What you are going to do, this is the front of my fabric. You open your strap like this, place it at the front. You're going to stitch it around like this. You just go ahead and pin it together. When you, come, when you get down to the point like this, you curved your fabric and you keep pinning. So what you're going to do, take it to your sewing machine once you have done pinning, go ahead and give it a top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance or not even up to one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, I will show you how to for the raw edges inside to cover the raw edges all around. So go ahead and stitch that together. I have stitched it together. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, you take your scissors, make sure you snip it very close to that edge right there. You just snip it all the way to that edge that is a little bit curved. So what I'm going to do, I will take it to my ironing board and then fold inside one centimeter and I will show you how to stitch it together. So I have ironed it inside, you just press it inside. What you're going to do, you fold it over like this on top of this raw edges. You can see the raw edges, you fold it on top of it. You can either go ahead and secure that with a pin. Keep folding and pin it together. So you just go ahead and pin it all the way down. I have pinned it all around. This is how it looks. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and stitch it all the way down. Once you have done that, cut out the S's. You take your skirt to your sewing machine, go ahead and stitch a gather stitch thread on top of the skirt. When you're stitching, do not stop stitch on top of this black Make sure you leave about one centimeter or half an inch. You just go ahead and stitch it all the way down. And you also repeat the same process on the other side of the back skirt. You take your front skirt, you repeat the same process, set your sewing machine to the longest stitch, go ahead and stitch your gather stitch thread on the front skirt. So once you have done that, this is my front skirt. What you are going to do, you're going to put them together, both basket and front skirt together, we are stitching the side seam. So you just use that opportunity to stitch the side seam with one centimeter seam allowance or half an inch seam allowance. You also repeat the same process on this other side, stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance or half an inch seam allowance. Once you have done that, you can also take it to your overlocker, overlock the raw edges, or use zigzag to overlock the both raw edges of your side seam. I have given it a top stitch. This is how it is. You just fold it inside and give it a top stitch all the way around. This is how it look right now once you have done that. And I've also stitched my gather stitch thread on the skirt. And I've also stitched the side seam of the skirt. I take it to my overlocker. I overlock the raw edges. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to gather the skirt on the top dress. The next thing that you have to do, you turn your skirt inside out. I have turned mine inside out. This is the front of my skirt and this is the front of my top. So what I'm going to do, I will pick my top, put the both sides seam together, just like this. And I'm going to take a scissors to snip the mid part. Then pick it like this, both the lining and the mid fabric, I'm going to stitch them together. This is the front, put the both mid part. This is also the mid part of my skirt. I have already 
snip that, put them together, secure that with a pin. This is the side seam of my top. You pick your skirt, and this is the side seam of your skirt. I'm just pulling the thread out of the way. You put the both side seam together, and you secure that with a pin. You come to this other side of the side seam, you repeat the same process. So I have pinned the front of the skirt on the front of the top dress. Before we start pinning the center back, you just flip your dress inside out. So you're turning it inside out. This will be, the back will be facing you. So you pick your top dress, you turn your skirt. So this is the, this will be the center back of the skirt. So what you are going to do, before you pin it on your skirt, so you're going to decide how you're going to put the center back together. You can either place it like this because you want the boat, this fabric right here to lap on each other. You can make it like this or you can do it the other way around. So mine is going to be like this. So what I'm going to do, you can see the way this is open. I will pick the center back of my top, place it at the end right here. Both are facing each other. That is the both front fabric are facing each other. I will secure that with a pin. And this other side, what you're going to do, you push it inside like this. It's not going to be open like this. You fold it inside, then you pick your top dress, place it on top of it. You can see the way it is, and then you secure that with a pin. Once you have secured them with a pin, what you are going to do, you are going to gather the skirt. I have gathered my skirt all around. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and stitch it all around with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric, go ahead and stitch it together. Once you have done that, remove your gather stitch thread, take it to your overlocker, overlock the raw edges, or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. I have stitched my gather stitch skirt around the waistline of my top dress and I've also taken it to my overlocker, overlock the raw edges. So what I'm going to do, I will just turn it inside out. This is how a look at the center back of your dress. This is where we attach the fabric. You can see how we attach this fabric. We push this other side inside why this side is still the same way we stitch it at the beginning so when you are going to put your dress together all you have to do this side that goes inside you just place it on top of the other side like this you can either go ahead and put a snap on the center back of your dress you can also stitch a buttonhole on the center back of your dress once you have done that, go ahead and hem your dress. Fold inside one centimeter, fold it again one centimeter. Go ahead and give it a top stitch all around. For the waistline, all you have to do, this is where I overlock it. You just push the seam, you can see the seam. Push it towards the bodies. Go ahead and top stitch at the front of the dress. Once you have done that, your dress is finally ready. You can also top stitch around the sleeve area or around the neckline. So go ahead and top stitch around the waistline of your dress and also hem your dress.
This is the final look of my dress. You can see how it finally look once you have making your own dress. It's an extended sleeve dress. I have top stitch around the waistline and I've also hem my skirt and I top stitch around the sleeve. And I've also installed my snap. This is a plastic snap. Remember when you install a plastic snap on your dress, when you iron your dress, do not place your iron on the plastic because it will melt. So this is the final look of my dress. It's very easy and step-by-step -step tutorial. And you all should have a blessed day. Bye.